Hey, welcome back to Tacoma. Uh, in the last episode, we are uh, starting to upload our AI data to the system. What percent are we at? Forty-six point three. All right. Uh, there must be something else I haven't checked yet. Hmm. I might have to skip ahead. Airlock sealed. Hmm? Oh, hi, kitty cat. I didn't see you there. That's adorable. Uh... Let's restart. Alright, there must be something... You. I didn't... Nicholas. I didn't open that yet. Uh, can I... There we go. Uh, Nicholas Dagyev. He's talking to his son, right? Okay. Mark Figueroa. Okay, this is an article I was talking about discussing finances. I'm not going to read that. Okay, that won't work. Hmm. Okay, that's. I guess that's it for him. There was one more I forgot and missed in the showers here. She's taking a shower. And who is she? Natalie Koroshenko. Interesting name. Uh, she's talking to Evie? Uh, no, that's what Human Oversight Accord means. If an orbital facility is run by AI, HOA requires there be an AI specialist on board. And if there's one human on board, there, need to, there needs to be at least two other people for up to a three-month hitch. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, the cover did not support roles. I knew it. And for posting of one year or more, you need six, etc. Sanity, wellness, admin, you name it. Also, it guarantees a whole lot of people union jobs they wouldn't otherwise have. What if I told you I'd feel a lot more sane with a couple fewer people around? You and me both, kid. Alright. Well, that's relatable. Uh, one... Vain? <laughs> Is this like a K-pop band? Or a J-pop band? Interesting. Interesting costumes. That is really cool. Alright, Natalie. I know a little bit more about you now. And Sarah's here. Talking to Odin. I'm still very suspicious of Odin. I mean, uh, it's a little bit cliche, but... Can he be like the the AI gun bad? Seventy four percent. All right. Hey, what's up? Uh, Farrier for security reasons, AR crew record data is deleted automatically. Accidental re data retention by the automated system does not confer contractor access privileges to this confidential information. Your cooperation is appreciated. All right. So they're saying we can't share this information. Why do they keep stressing that? Did something uh, really bad happen? I already got this one, right? Okay, yeah. Now there's one more, I think. Let's fast forward. She comes up here. And then she opens her desktop. There we go. Uh, Natalie Koroshenko again. Message with Cluey Dog. The fact that you signed a release to be constantly monitored is kind of fucked up. You think they're not doing anything with that data? 
I don't think they're not. I just don't care. Watch me on the toilet. Have a ball, you freaks. I can stop it if I want it. You could come up here, get a buck on tank tang gears? 100% distro crypt filters. It's a lot of fun. Krishna Buffett Buffet 24 7. When's your court posting over? Another year. Okay. And then connection lost. Hmm. So it seems like she might be willing to get on a another station. One dream, one vein merchandise. Oh my god, it's a Daki Makura. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Natalie. Don't do that. Uh, party instructions. Using scissors, please cut regulation cardstock. Okay. Happy obsolescence day. Okay, so that's Odin telling them to make the decorations. Can't access that. Natalie is an interesting character. Alright, now let's go check on the uh, percentage. Hey, it's complete. Let's take this. Now where to next? Let's go back to the hub. Uh, I... Oh. Yes? What's up? Please proceed to the biomedical module to continue AI data transfer process. As for your contract, time is of the essence with respect to this mission. Uh, I did get a microphone boom arm. And I don't think it makes my voice sound any better, but it's much, much easier to use. Yeah, so let's go, let's go back to the hub. Alright, we're back at the hub. There's that, uh, drone guy. Sanitation drone. Oh, I can grab him. Nice. Uh, we're supposed to go to biomedical, I think. Uh, you, you can go on your way now. There you go. I love him. Oh, he's, he sang for me. Okay, let's go in here. So this is like a infirmary, right? The biomedical module. What are we gonna find here? And this is where we put our module, our log. Our data transfer device. I should start calling it that now. Okay. Well, that's starting. We'll head to medical. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Uh, please proceed to exam room. Happy ventures, healthy ventures. So, Sarah Hazmati is the doctor. Let's see what these guys are up to. Mac. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. Oh. Yeah. Once more and. All right. Uh, glad that pauses. She's messaging Odin. Isn't having more data available to the pilot pilot desirable? Yeah, but it's the raw uh, raw navs data format for the Zenus AI use, not blah blah blah. Bert's going to need to be able to use uses stuff in real time while she's at the controls, so the navigation code itself interprets the data and display 
its recommendation for optimal manual in inputs to the pilot. Uh, blah, 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 expose the raw data for cross-reference if needed. Yes, I understand. I will prepare revision 2.212 of the manual drone navigation control software and roll on. Alright, don't know what's going on there. Uh, emergency in effect, cryogenic facilities active, two out of cryo- two out of six cryopods occupied, so someone's already in cryo? Oxygen supply approximately 50 hours. Alright, so that's when the disaster first struck, and they already put two people in cryo. Interesting. <clears throat> and this is with Evie? No, it's okay, don't worry about- Uh, but I wanted to say that I think you're a really good station admin. And no matter how I acted, I want you to know, uh, la, 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 not gonna let you down. It's very sweet, Nat. I appreciate it. I need to blah, 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 see you on the other side. Okay, so I'm guessing Evie went to cryo. Alright. Why Evie, though? Maybe because she's an admin? To the breach? What? I don't know. I... I'm just thinking about how Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Oh, Evie and Clive. Did you read the message they sent? Sorry, I'm paused. Yeah. Why are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cryo, and Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but... But what? Right before they turned to go, just for a second, they looked so worried. Oh, baby. The clock is ticking, and I just keep thinking, what if the last time they saw each other is the last time they'll ever see each other? Don't think about that. How can I? How can you not think about it? Secure medical storage. So, you know the concept of partitioning for early century computing? Yeah, I think so. so Oh, I can't look at that. Man. Okay, pause real quick. Have a day to drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was like general data storage. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable. What is she showing? Kind of, you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else. There are certain things that are going to help us get this done, but some things... What is she doing? Thinking getting about something. them isn't gonna help us. But you're thinking about us, at least, aren't you? Yeah. And when I do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together too. Nat? Well, then I start thinking. Ooh. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm gonna let them do their thing. Oh, uh, I also wanted to talk about how they uh, didn't use like the same body model for each and every character. Like Roberta and Evie are like big, big girls. They're curvy. Uh, recent body scan records. I appreciate that. I always love representation. Just wash my hands. That was very loud. Uh, let's rewind. All right. Oh, hey, hmm. Sarah. Okay. Uh, I know Clive and Evie are out, out of the picture, so it's just them and uh, that other guy. I forgot his name. We'll see you over in Mac. Wrapped up here. All right. Now let's follow her. Ooh. Uh, to all crew, to everyone left awake on Tacoma Station, I've added a tracking widget to all crew desktops. It displays a pretty accurate estimate of how much breathable air remains on the station. Following the algae bloom and Evie and Clive going to cryo, the counter should give you a pretty good blah blah blah. Keep an eye on it and... Hey. So that's what this thing is? Uh, hey ladies, your scans looks good. 
They were cleared for cryo. Uh, if, God forbid, blah blah, into the pods, attaching some standard instructions I sent along to Evie and Clive. Okay, uh, this is a, like a pamphlet. In case of a medical emergency when surgical or other required medical facilities, uh, temporary cryogenic suspension until you can be transported for treatment. Here's a quick look at... Okay, preparation. Medical staff will scan you and determine an appropriate regimen of fluids to be administered by intravenous uh, dosage of diuretics and laxatives given time for your body to react to them before uh, medical staff will guide you as you enter the cryogenic device. If the cryogenic facilities at your location are in microgravity, medical staff will have special training to whatever that says. Alright, can I restore anything else? No. All right. So that's Sarah. And I've noticed that Sarah talks a lot to Odin. So maybe... Oh, Odin. Did I do the right thing? In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know? What her odds are if she ends up going into cryo? I believe that you have made a decision with... Oh, that's important. She's saying that if Nat goes into cryo, she might not make it. Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Above all, do no harm. If we do make it out of this thing, Nat's going to have to find out I didn't tell her everything at some point. I believe that is a bridge to be crossed at a later date. Andrew is here for his exam. Oh, uh, send him in. Okay, where'd Andrew come from? So you showed up for your exam. I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's gonna happen to us, Sarah? What? Um... Uh-oh. Well, Bert and Nat are going to fix up the drone with life support, and, and then we're... No. I mean... What if things don't work out? And we're still stuck in cryo? Oh. Well... When you go into stabilizing sleep, it feels just like any other sleep, really. The body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma. Do you dream? Sometimes. Sometimes very intense dreams. And then what? After a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much. Things start shutting down. Oh, no. <sighs> I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Man, sorry. It's just this the situation got me so emotional. Now let's unpause. You just don't wake back up. It uh it doesn't hurt. No. Do you think Bert and Nat can get it done? I do. She's lying. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion and do my part. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. What was that? Oh. <laughs> okay. Roberta, Natalie. I mean, a storage closet is not the best space to do that. Alright, that's the end of that. Uh, imaging. Please remove any items from your pockets. No need to fully disrobe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like an x-ray machine? There's a skeleton in my closet. Facial tissue. There's gotta be... Uh, is there a point where she turn opens this? Um. Guess not. In her office? Let's open her workstation. The Ventura's Bell, of course. Uh, Sarah has Maddie. She's from CNAP. Don't know where that's from. I like her hijab and her choker. That's a good combination. Uh, put you away. 
We would like to remind you that while your posting contract on Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma is currently up for renewal, there would be many more po posting options open to you if you were to accept personal responsibility for the incident of September 2nd, 2085 upon the Fountain of Paradise. As you know, the court case has been settled, so there would be no further negative impact on you. And your opportunities within Venturas would be significantly improved. I'll take the renewal. Thanks. Incident on Fountain of Paradise. So she got in trouble once? Hmm. Uh, Bioscan record pin updated. Please enter a reminder phrase. Okay. Uh, graduation date. License issue date. Hmm. Graduation. Let's try 2082. What is this? Oh. Oh, I got a key. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, let's go... Let's use the key first. I don't want to forget about it. Medical storage. There we are. See, I was looking for that. Anything important in here? A bucket? I don't need you. Uh, pause for a second. Uh, some allergy meds? Hmm. Uh, Venture settles with family of spaceport victim. Following a lengthy independent investigation and court case, the Ventures Corporation has reached a settlement with the family of Jaden Jer Jeremiah Pratt, who died during surgery for a fractured femur following an accident aboard Venturus' Fountain of Paradise spaceport. That's what happened. Okay. As part of the settlement's terms, Ventures admitted no wrongdoing in the death of Mr. Pratt. However, significant public relations uh, damage was already done by the incident. While OSEP's independent investigation is inconclusive, the attending surgeon at the time of Mr. Pratt's death, Dr. Sarah Hasmati, testified during multiple hearings that fault lay not in human error, but the faulty judgment of Venturis' medical AI, HECA. Okay. Interesting. There's just a random skull here. Uh, let's put that on the skeleton in the closet. Whoops. Alright. There we go. Nice. Uh, we're gonna try 2082 on this. Hopefully it'll work. Nope. Okay. I really need to find out what date she graduated. Oh, 2080. That makes sense. Now let's put that in. Uh, for medical staff eyes only. Let's look at reverted. 28. Okay, her blood pressure's a little high. Standard immuno antiviral schedule. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Cryogenic stasis risk factors, none. So she can go into cryo. 
A visibility analysis. Patient exhibits no physical symptoms. Okay. What about Natalie? We want to know about her. Her heart is bad. She has a heart murmur. Okay. Blood pressure is normal. Uh, severe risk of death during the cryogenic revival process. Expected probability of survival for the patient under this treatment is 18%. Patient is not recommended. <sighs> All right, and he's normal. Man, what's gonna happen to them? <sighs> Personal quarters. Is Andrew gonna be here? No, it's Sarah. Ooh. Ah, uh, yeah, let's recover that data. Uh, JJ Pratt, Image Life. Oh, man. That's a guy who died on the Fountain of Paradise, right? Sarah is... Man. Sarah just feels so guilty. Okay. Unfortunately, the information you have requested is defined as classified by Ventures, so I am, am unable to transmit it to you. I wish I could. I'm sorry, Sarah. How can an AI wish something? Uh, it's okay, you don't have to apologize. I know you have your rules that you have to follow. I wonder if Nat could get at it. I cannot prevent you from approaching Natalie about this issue. I can advise you that doing so would violate the terms of her security clearance. What is she trying to get? Huh. Uh, no, on another facility. Uh, like if she was malfunctioning or if there had been anything wrong with her that people might not know have known about. I could try looking in VT's tech error to get backlog for any hits. Okay, Fountain of Paradise Medical AI about three years ago. Okay, so Sarah wants to know, Sarah's asking Natalie to like hack into a database to see what's wrong, see if anything was wrong with Heka, the AI on uh, the Fountain of Paradise. Uh, thank you again. To all my eggheads who have flagged me in their loyalty affi affiliate? What? Alright. Oh gosh. So that's uh, Pratt JJ. That's JJ's like article or blog. She's just so guilty. I mean, it wasn't her fault, right? I feel bad for her. Oh my god. You got a, a virtual yoga instructor. That is so cool. Man, sorry, Sarah. All right. Uh, lastly, I think we're going to check on Andrew. There he is. And it looks like he has his desktop on. <clears throat> uh, he's the one who made this. Love you both. To his son and his husband. Uh, dear Mark and Nicholas, I don't know how to say this, but accident on the station. And if you're reading this, we weren't able to survive it. And I'm sorry, Nicholas. I'm sorry I won't be there to see you grow up to be the amazing man I already see you becoming. Mark, I'm sorry I won't be there to hold your hand as we grow old together, but don't forget me. Know that I loved you. More than I'm sorry, Odin, I can't do this right now. I'll finish this later. Stop dictation. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prepping for cryo. Dear crew, I would n rather not be writing this. Clive and I... They're going to cryo. Not why I wish I weren't saying these words. It is because, above all, I believe in this crew, and I wish I could be there to see you succeed in this. We have the right people to make our plan a reality. We will breathe fresh air again. We will see our families again. We will fill the earth's pool again together. For now, Clive and I will do our part and settle into cryo. Soon, Andrew will join us. Sarah, Bert, and Nat, we're all counting on you. Could be in better hands. With love and gratitude, Evie and Clive. Ugh. This is tearing me apart. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Transport of remains and funeral arrangements are paid for by Ventures. Loyalty and any uh, additional Ventures accident insurance that the contractor has invested in are immediately transferred to the contractor's specified beneficiary. <sighs> Man, this is a real downer. So he's talking to Roberta here. The drone was never meant to support human life. There's no air supply system, no onboard controls at all. There's not enough radiation shielding for human passengers. And I'm just gonna have to figure out uh, where to scavenge all that stuff from Tacoma in a way that won't break the station. And hope that I can retrofit the drone to support human life long enough for me to pilot, uh, manually pilot the six of us from Tacoma to the moon. So I really need to get back to it. <clears throat> Thanks for buying us a few more hours of oxygen with that algae thing, Andrew. Okay, so that's what the algae bloom was. I suppose we're at 50% now? Yep. Uh, we'll check out the uh, botany section. Man, that really hit me hard. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, recover that data. I tried, is what it's called. All right, what do you say, folks? Yay or nay? Obviously, we're on board. I'm in. Me too. Andrew? Okay. All right. Well, we non-essential personnel need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success. Then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Break. I'll, um... Okay, pause there. Okay, so they're all gonna separate. And... Alright, we're gonna have to follow them all. I think Evie and Clive are going to cryo to save oxygen, I think. Let's, uh, look at her desktop. See subject. I'm in botany already. Get here. So she called a meeting. Okay. Uh, standard practice is don't use cryo for any longer than absolutely necessary. That's not what I asked. Right, sorry. 70, 72 hours without serious risk of brain damage? Past that and you're really pushing it. How much oxygen? I mean hardly at all. Wait, where are you going with this? Okay, so yeah. Uh, Clive and Evie are trying to save as much oxygen as possible. And then Andrew also helped with that uh, algae boom thing. Uh-huh. But Bert says she couldn't do her part in the time we have if she doesn't sleep and... And I think I need to write up a serious later layer of interpreter code for us to pilot it from the inside, but it's gonna be tight. And if you had more than 48 hours to work with, every little bit would help. Okay, okay, hold on, checking something. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but what if, what if we weren't sending it down to get supplies? What if we were sending uh, ourselves down? In the delivery drone? Yes, with some modifications. The bigger issue would it be its lack of life support. Uh, we can salvage from Tacoma. We could rig up some oxygen, pressure, climate control, drone down to Luna, and get home from there. If we're not uh, confident in VT making it up here before O2 runs out, and we can't call for a real... Uh, pick up, getting down to Luna, is our only real hope. Okay, sit tight. Good idea. Thanks, Bert. Alright. So she wants to uh, use the delivery drone to get them to Luna? 
which I think is another base. Downstairs and get started on something. Okay, so I think uh, Andrew is the botanist, of course. Uh, he's gonna work on the algae bloom, and we're gonna watch him do that. Hey, Andrew. Andrew. Yeah. Hey, are are you okay? Evie. Hey. Oh, hold I'm on. Not. I need that. No, nope, I'm not. Nope, I'm Zero, not. Two, eight, one. I keep pressing the wrong button. I'm sorry. Zero, two, eight, one. Okay. What do you want to talk about? I can't do it. Uh, I can't. I can't. I... This is all crazy. But you said you... I know. Okay, I know what I said. But I... What was I supposed to say? You all... You all pressured me. Andrew. They, they really expect us to climb into some jury rig thing and ride it through space just because VT might not come pick us up. It, it's insane. And oh. first, we all have to get in cryo just for the privilege... Well, t some of us do. Andrew, I... I don't know what to say. Burton not need us. They need you. Well... I'm not doing it. I'm not getting in cryo. I'm not... I'm Wait, why be... doesn't he want to go in cryo? Be the same one here. No, nobody even considered that VT might come pick us up in time if we just wait. Nobody even considered it. Listen, just... Don't talk to anybody else about this for now, okay? And, and if I were to call the crew into medical, you'd show up, right? I guess it depends what it is. Ooh, someone's smoking. Oh. What are you gonna do, Andrew? Hey, Odin. Yes, Andrew? What should I do? What do you mean? I don't know. I... Just want to go home. I understand. Do you? I believe that I do. Can you tell me the average time it's taken VT to send an evac crew to investigate situations like this? The average time between a remote facility losing ground contact and an investigative crew arriving on site is 98.4 hours. Not enough. God damn it. Please try not to be worried, Andrew. <laughs> It's easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. So, what do you think we should do? Standard operating procedure requires all crew to engage cryogenic hibernation until help arrives. Yeah, you know, people die in cryo, right? I know. Sometimes. If, uh... <laughs> if we don't make it out of this... Can you deliver a message to my family? I will do everything in my power. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll send you something later, alright? Of course. Okay, there it is. Everyone just wants to go home safely. Okay, can't open that. Uh, just checking in about your new... Uh, Mark. That's his husband. I'm not talking about who's paying the bills, I'm talking about Nicholas. Uh, well, I'll see you every four months. And that's not even taking my feelings into account, which I'll just set aside for now. You might not think he's showing it, but Nicholas really wishes you were here. Listen, if you back out of your contract renewal, we'll figure out a way to make it work. You know my parents did well in the currency crash. My dad always says, mm -hmm, I just want you home. Relying on your parents' charity is your solution? I'm building equity up here. My loyalty will pay for Nicholas' school, and if I back out of this contract, we'll lose all of that. And I'm not, and don't appreciate this emotional sabotage when you know, really getting hard, because he's having marital problems. Listen, I'm sorry, I just... Man. There's really no good way of getting a signal out. There must be something you haven't tried yet. 
Uh, no, Andrew. All comms are routed through a secured VT laser array, and it's been destroyed, and the redundancies were destroyed. Stop messaging me. Yeah, so he's desperate to get that last message out. Oh, man. He couldn't even say sorry. Couldn't even apologize. So I guess we should just carry on as normal. We don't have much time. We need to make a contingency plan. But VT is supposed to come pick us up, right? Within 24 hours? It's not going to take 24 hours. Listen, just increase our oxygen supply in the short term. term. If worse came to worse. Okay, so we're going to check out what Sarah's up to next. She leaves about there. And Sarah's the medic. She's having a panic attack. Odin, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Close your eyes. I did already. Odin can be in multiple places at once. I just noticed that. What are they growing here? Squash? It's just a bunch of squash. Uh, tomatoes. A light wind rustles the green tall grass. Your skirt billows gently. Warm sun caresses your back. Yes. You begin walking forward. The grass is cool. I'm sorry. Uh, let's read that real quick. Oh. Feet parted with each step. Do you see what is in front of you? As I step through the grass, I naturally come upon a path. Yes. The dirt of the so the dirt of the path is soft on the soles of my feet. I don't know what's going to happen to us, Odin. Sarah. <laughs> I am striding forward confidently upon my appointed path. That is a sweetie. Wherever it takes me. Uh, they have beef, fish, chicken. I How does that work? I am striding confidently on my appointed path. Sarah? Yes, Odin? Are you going to be all right? I think so. All right. This is, uh, Andrew's office? Let's open his workstation. Sorry, this game is, like, pulling at my heartstrings here. Uh, Andrew Dagyab. It's from DEC. Don't know where that is. Uh. This message confirms completion of your requested currency conversion. Loyalty has removed from your account at a value of 154,000 SGD. Okay. Oh, he bought a house uh, in space? Interesting. In the Ventura Spell. Uh, beautiful orchids. Hi everyone, my orchids have been growing gloriously in botany this winter, and they're ready to be propagated. If anyone would like a small orchid plant to brighten up their bunk, uh, let me know. They do take a bit of care, but I'm happy to include instructions and answer any questions. Please write back if you'd like one. Andrew. Now, I've been wondering how they keep all these plants here. 0281. I'm gonna need that. Okay. 0281. 0281. Uh, pause. It's growing mushrooms here. 0281. That's the speaker. Okay, so cryo is... At this point, cryo is not, like, advanced yet. It can't sustain uh, all life. It's not 100% success. So there's a a chance that a lot of them are going to die. OK. 
Okay, so this is Andrew's personal quarters. Ooh. And before we do this, though, there's something I need to do. Any locks around here? He smokes. He's a smoker. Probably from that anxiety. It's Chang'e, the moon goddess. Uh, from the... What is that? The bunny in the moon? What's going on with Andrew? Oh, that's not Andrew. Okay, Odin. What's he looking at? Spitfire's Revenge. Oh, it's a game. Okay. Uh, venture stock tumbles following failure of orbital workers' safety bill. Huh. Interesting. Uh, yes, I opened it. And? I'm not sure I get it. You need to pass them out to the rest of the crew so they're, they're not blinded by the glare off of your damn shiny scalp. Nicholas! Happy birthday, Dad. Uh, what do you send? Aww. Nice family. Alright, let's unpause. Ready? I'm gonna do it this time. <laughs> Playing a nice video game. Those lines there. That is so cool. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's part of the game, probably. Alright. Anything I'm going I missed? Cake bites? Mm-hmm. Is that uh, for a college? Yeah. He wants his son Nicholas to go off to college. <sighs> Alright, let's get out of here. I've had enough feels for today. But uh, let's see what Roberta and uh, Natalie are up to. Oh, that's not Roberta, it's Clive. Uh, where are Roberta? And, uh, Natalie. Where'd they go? There. Man, Roberta does not look happy. Oh my god. So now we actually have to build this thing. Yeah, that was the whole point. Yeah. Hold on, I need to ask you something. Alright, I'm gonna finish Roberta and, and Natalie's thing, and then I'll end the episode there. Evie! Hey, Evie, hey, um, I know you're all, like, gung-ho to help us out and everything, but I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in, like, 48 hours, not 72... Could the rest of us wait longer to go in? Exactly. Listen, ladies, I get it. You're trying to do right by us, but every minute we wait to go in is a minute you don't have to get this thing flying. And knowing what we know about VT, we've got to give you every chance we can to okay. succeed. That's why they're going to cryo. So there's no way we can convince you? We made a plan. Now we just need to hold up our end. Yeah, they're going to cryo. Then I guess we should stop wasting time and... To work. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. <laughs> Ride of your life. More ways than one. Natalie's confident. Okay, where do we start? Start? I got things started as soon as this all went down. I'll show you what I'm, I'm glad doing. Natalie's optimistic. To the workshop. Oh, open this. Oh, okay, that's where they leave. Alright, I think I can do, uh, 
uh, Clive and Evie's thing then. Whatever they're doing. I really think they can turn. I didn't think things would end like this. Did you? What do you mean, end? Come on, Clive. What? You really think they can turn that thing into a passenger vehicle in two days? We might as well hold our breath and just try dog paddling over there. <laughs> but Listen, it's it's okay. We know it's not safe working she up believes, here. She believes. She doesn't believe in just them. Don't think about it a lot. But here we are, and we knew it all along. But VT could. VT's not fucking coming, Clyde. Yikes. VT's not fucking coming. You think sending a crew up here at the drop of a hat just to check on things is worth it to them? Dollars and cents, Clyde. You know what one of those fuckers said to me one time? If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Them sending a crew up in time, it just doesn't make sense. So you're just giving up then? No. We're doing what we said we'd do. Bert and Nat, they are our only shot and we have got to take it. But I can also be realistic that... Evie. I don't want to be realistic with you. No. Time to go make... Make... Well... Time to go make... Final preparations, then. <laughs> but not too finally. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it. The day we'll be walking together. Like this. The gravity, it won't be artificial. I better not find them in cryo. I mean, isn't it strange? We've, we've never felt the Earth's fall together. One day. One day. God, this is killing me. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think... Do you think you could get everyone to medical? I, I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they're right. going. I think I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, let's see how much uh, we got done. Not here. <sighs> yeah, it's complete. Alright. I'm going to end the episode here. Man. That was a lot of feels in one module. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.